I'm Jen Campbell. This is Art About. This is two to one from Gloucester.
still standing on the street all alone I've forgiven you, please forgive me I've changed my attitude, can't you see? I never said I didn't want to come home Still standing on the street all alone I've forgiven you, please forgive me I've changed my attitude, can't you see? never said I didn't want to come home Still standing on the street all alone I've forgiven you, please forgive me Come 
This is Jen Campbell with Art About. I'm here with Two to One. I want to throw it to them. Hey, I'm Timsky, guitar and vocals and stuff. Hi, I'm Jamie Klopotowski. I play bass and Barry. Hi, I'm Bill Spencer. I play uh, drums and do vocals. So I'm going to throw it to Timsky first. And the first question I have is, why ska? That is the question, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's mostly an accident for me. Okay. Because uh, way back in the day, a friend of mine asked me to be in a band outside of school. And that was a ska band. And it, it was a natural fit for me because I'm a trombone player. So ska is a genre that predominantly the peop thing people know about it is the horns. So it was a natural fit. Um, but I kind of fell in love with it from, you know, from early listening to it and playing it and getting into the bands and then learning the history about it, learning the, the craze that hit America in the 90s, the craze that hit Britain in the 80s and, and the original craze in Jamaica in the 50s and 60s. There's just a lot there. Um, there is. But a lot of, a lot of it uh, is tied to like, you know, certain bands that I would listen to and frequent and try to emulate with my own bands. So I've been in bands starting in middle school and high school local bands doing random things and this is just the latest incarnation of that the ironic thing about this band is it has ever started with no horns um i picked this uh picked up the guitar for this band um and now i'm playing ska guitar <laughs> that's great i have a question for jamie so jamie um we talked a little bit about the band but how did it really start Tell us kind of the beginning of the band. Yeah, so it started out actually with Timsky and Bill were just jamming at my house and uh, on guitar and drums. So they were obviously missing a bass player. <laughs> uh, and I've never played the bass in my entire life. Yeah. But for my birthday, uh, Timsky took me to Guitar Center and had me pick out a bass guitar. And I did and taught myself how to play it. And then joined in with their jamming. How long did it take you to learn the bass? Uh, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm still learning the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a learning process. But like, I'm a musician. I, I've been playing since I was in fifth grade. So I know what music is. I know what rhythm and beat and the notes are. It was just learning a new style of, of putting that all together. So, I mean, I was jamming with them, I don't know, within a few weeks of picking up the bass guitar. Oh, wow. But I'm definitely still learning. <laughs> That's great. Bill, I want to throw it to you. So I know how these two know each other. They're married. <laughs> but I want to know how you met these guys uh so tim and i were in a ska band together like i was in a different band and uh my drummer was in the runaround this other band and they were looking for a bass player so i joined up and we were in the band together for about six years and or maybe longer i don't remember but uh tim and i actually lived together for a period of time and that was right when tim and jamie met so like intrigue uh, yeah yeah so tim tim and i and another friend of ours moved into a house together and then within the first week tim and jamie met and she basically was just like always there <laughs> so we all got to know each other really well um and the rest is history you know like we've been we've been in touch ever since and that other band ended and like we just kind of reconnected uh to to play music you know i love that yeah. and it sounds like a lot of the um, performance happened. So this show is about the North Shore. And what I'm interested in knowing is how is your music and your art expression informed by the North Shore, if at all? Go for it. Well, like, uh, for me, like, uh, there was a venue called the Art Space in Gloucester when I was in high school. And uh, I went to a bunch of shows there, and it was very, like, punk, ska, hardcore like lots of lots of bands in those genres uh coming through and playing and there was like a really vibrant scene and uh s there was like a distinct like gloucester band 
like style, I guess. Yeah. So that like, and this is like in the same tradition, I guess. Yeah. I would say so. Like you know, playing some of these songs that were written for another band, like when Tim was in high school, like whatever, fifteen or twenty years ago. It's got that like, you know, it's a, such a nostalgic thing for me personally, but also like it's a, uh, you know, very very tied into that tradition, right? Which I which I love, which is really cool. Yeah, That's absolutely. Cool. Uh, Bill hit it on with Art Space. I I was never lucky enough to hit Art Space as I was too young. But the that tradition is very much there, and uh, you know I love the other bands I met. I didn't mention any of them, but some of my favorite ska bands are bands you might go across the country and have heard of. But there's something about a local band that like touched thirty people at one time, and they'll never forget it. And that I don't know what the future of this band is, but I want that for this band that we that. You know, twenty years down the line, some people are like, "Oh, two to one, that was that was, that was awesome." awesome. <laughs> what you never heard of two to one? Oh, they're so good. Just here's the, like here's the song. Here's the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping on that tradition, like the, uh, I don't think it's died, but it's it's a lot harder nowadays. You know, the art space. One of the things that it had was a place to play music. It's hard to sometimes find a place to play music, mm. but um, yeah, it is the only way to to get bands going is to start them. So that's why we're here. Right, right. Do you have a, a perspective that's drawn to this place in the North Shore? That's an interesting question for me because I grew up in Wisconsin. Uh, so you so I am a transplant to the North Shore, but I am making music predominantly in the North Shore. I'm a music teacher on the North Shore. I'm in seven or eight bands on the North Shore. Uh, I live and breathe and work on the North Shore. So how can it not inform all of what I do and all of the music that I make? Um, so very influential. Jamie actually runs two other North Shore bands. <laughs> She's two time in you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in one of those bands. Oh, okay. Then it's, then and that's, that's also very much the ska and punk tradition is just to be in like too many bands at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember the names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. The um, other thing that I wanted to talk to you about, Jamie, is that you've been doing a lot of work with the schools. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about what you're trying to do with Gloucester and budgets and all that. Yeah, so I'll briefly touch on that. So I'm a music teacher in Gloucester and Gloucester, like most cities in the state, probably in the country right now, are facing budget cuts. Uh, so for the past couple of months, I've been working with the school committee and the city council and trying to get a fully funded budget for the uh, school system in Gloucester. Uh, we were successful in making sure that the arts programs didn't get cut. Um, but unfortunately, we were not successful in getting some of the other programs cut. So oh, wow. right now, the middle school librarian has been cut, lots of school classes and uh, psychologists and behavioral, like lots of people. People have been cut, which is unfortunate. Oh, wow. But at least the arts are safe. So they were going to cut things like band and chorus and drama and art. And uh, we at least wow. convinced the local politicians to not do that because obviously art is my entire life. Yeah. It is my world. And to deprive that from children would just be devastating. Right. Um, and it's always on the chopping block. Anytime there's a budget cut, it's always arts that has that comes first. So I'm glad that we were able to save that. But um, I don't consider my work done. Um, we're just going to be getting you know more and more cuts as time goes on. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me uh, working to make sure at least the arts don't get cut, but I'm really hoping that schools just get fully funded so that the kids get what they need. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so Tim, you talked about the rich history with ska. My, I'm going to say this is my last question. <laughs> my last question to the band is um, there was three waves for ska, as I understand it. There was the late 50s in Jamaica, and then it traveled sort of right and went to Europe, and it went to England. And the English beat was um, big and madness and all of that. And then and it, and it kind of got fused with punk at that point. And, then, and that was in the late 70s, 80s. And then it went to America 
took like a left and went to America. And you got the Mighty Mighty Bostones, and you got No Doubt, and um, Sublime is another one. So what I wanted to ask you was, um, what wave would you consider of this beautiful, rich history of ska is your wave, or are you integrating all of them? Well, we do have, a, I would say that the one we probably, this band probably copies the least is the British wave, but we, we've got a couple of tunes that actually harken back to the original wave, like we're playing a, at a very old uh, ska song, I remember the name of it. Oh yeah, Miscalculation. Which, which apparently started in Britain. No, it was, or, it was a ripoff of a surfer's, uh, like a oh, surfer's sur tune. There was a lot of, a lot of music being ripped off, but mostly uh, we're, I would say, our influences are in the the wave in the mid '90s in America. 90s. Okay. Absolutely. the 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 addition of punk to the music is that's where that's my bread and butter. Like I really, really love it, and that's that's where it gets confusing for some for a lot of folks because try to explain ska and it's very difficult yeah because it's, it, it's evolved so much and the style of music doesn't necessarily define or you know if you say you're in a ska band like we identify with doesn't necessarily mean that every song is going to sound exactly like a particular wave of ska even like we play other uh what we call ska adjacent music ska adjacent i like yeah. that yeah um and in that in that regard, like I I identify with the music, but I also just identify with the personality of so many of the bands from that wave. Um, my fa my fa my favorite being Five Iron Frenzy. Those guys are, you know, they're they're goofy, they're humble, really talented, but I I just I dig their vibe overall overall, and uh, you know, want to emulate that. What are you guys have other? Particular influences? I think, well, so definitely my original influence in ska was the movie Clueless uh, in the 90s. Mighty okay. Mighty Boss Tones were in yes. that movie. And okay. They played uh, a set in that movie, and that was my first introduction to ska. Um, and then I guess my next introduction or my deeper dive into it was meeting him and hanging out with his ska band and listening to all these new ska songs. But what I really identify with, I think more than the specific sound of the songs per se, because like Timsky said, so many of the songs sound so different from each other is the culture around ska. So the, it's almost countercultural in a way. And, and I really identify with that. So instead of being this like mainstream popular materialistic you know we're the opposite of all of that so i think the the countercultural aspect of it is what i really identify with got it yeah absolutely it um like there's a revolutionary attitude in ska a lot of the time like uh you know like fighting oppression fighting like you yeah know, all kinds of, but also like it manifests sometimes in more toxic ways depending on the band but uh there's a lot of like good messaging in a lot of the music that like I didn't even realize was an influence on me until later in life. And I was just like, Oh yeah. I just like never questioned those things. But now like, you know, I fully agree with, you know, the anti-racist message or like, you know, like feminist messaging. And it's like uh, a great, it was a great influence on me as a young person. That's the thing I loved about Scott when I did my deep dive, because it's so bouncy and happy and yet if you really listen to the lyrics it's it's challenging and it's saying to the people like stand up for your rights or you know uh it's definitely in the the jamaican um kingston uh versions of it it's it's like wow this is really heavy stuff well even like our drought song the i hate the drought song is a perfect example of that where it is super upbeat he's singing yeah 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 and we're talking about this horrible drought that's happening in the country and in the world um and one of my favorite songs that we cover is called get your riot gear and you know it's all about you know war and riots and, and you know it's but it's a very beautiful song yeah yeah real big fish are one of probably the the chief chiefs at that they you know they're the best at juxtaposing the the upbeat music with dark content or you know uh satirical content and the satire is is is, is something i 
definitely appreciate too. In fact, Real Big Fish, they have, I told her this one before she started her other band, before I told her to join this band, Real Big Fish have a band, uh, they have a song called Don't Start a Band. Don't start a band. That's the one. And it's, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. I, I, I love, love the satire. satire. Good, good. Yeah, that's another really nice thing about Ska is that it's got a great sense of humor, generally speaking. Yeah. Like, uh, doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, can be very serious, but can also be very whimsical and just, like, ridiculous. Yeah, I sound like, um, like, mad, uh, Madness is, like, super funny if you watch their videos and you kind of see what they're trying to do. It's, like, it's just off the charts. It's Madness. It's, mad, it's Madness. <laughs> well, I want to cap our um, interview with a poem that I wrote tonight and I was inspired by, and I'm going to give you the card. I signed it and dated it. And, uh, I, you know, you'll have to share it. You'll have to take, take it home first and then you can take it home. But, we'll put it in our rehearsal space. Or you can frame it. But this is the poem for tonight. And it's, um, it's not titled, unfortunately. But uh, like an old friend in a shoelace and tie, being alive and jumping, being taken with the world, Ska lifts you up and out. It rolls you up in love. It takes you to a place forgetting worries. It gets the people ready, fight or flight. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for coming on Art About. Thank you for having this us. Is, thank you. This is our first show. And so I'm really, I really appreciate you coming out. Um, if you ever want to come back, you are totally welcome. <laughs> Do you have any internet presence and anything you want to promote? Yes. So you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at 221SKA. That's the number two, the letters T-O, the number one, SKA. Uh, so follow us there. Uh, we'll be playing at the Gloucester Block Party at the end of August. Um, so that'll be the next kind of big time. Um, if you happen to be, or actually, when is this coming on? Um, I'm going to have to edit it. So it's probably in like two weeks. Okay. So yeah. So I won't talk about that. So yeah. So I think um, come to the Gloucester Block Party on August 30th and you will see us performing on Main Street in Gloucester. And thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm.